Hello everybody. Today I'm back with some more Mirrorverse and we are showcasing Sally. Uh, I'm guessing Frozone might be the player or the character that they released before Sally, but I am more excited for Sally, so I want to showcase her first. Um, let's kind of let's look at her abilities. Jeez. So poise charge is a big thing for her. Let's see what that is. Token, oh sorry, token unique to Sally increase her attack and focus and allows the ability to parry. So another character with parry. Um, so, so she's immune to poison which is interesting. And she can also inflict poison. And her heavy attack hits three times for a total of 300 damage and pushes back instead of uh, applying knockback. Interesting. Special ability, bunch of damage and knockback. So that is a poise charge, it is removed and she inflicts poison. So that's nice too. Looks like poison might be a big thing for her. And then when she parries an enemy she gains a 10% attack buff. Um, I kinda wanna look at parry again. Interrupts the next basic or heavy attack before it strikes the character, so on the character for a short duration. Parry can only be executed against melee or tank characters attacking them in front of this character. Okay, if Sally executes a perfect parry, these, uh, these buffs have last for the rest of the encounter. Perfect parry is successful parrying an enemy within 0.5 seconds of attempting to parry them. Alright. Um, if we move to the talents, let's look at which ones we want to equip. Let's start with that one. Um, which green one should we do? We can do the, I like the poise charge, making that a bit stronger, and then we'll just equip this big boy one as well, which also has poise charge and perfect parry boosts. And then finally let's just look at her bio here so you can see all our traits. And bio if you're interested. Um, and now she's my best character. Not by a whole lot though. So let's see, um, I guess we can do what I usually start out with and just try her in the 1v1 showdown. Yeah, so like I said, Frozone's Frosty Frenzy is first. So I know some people like when I showcase them in the order that they're releasing, but tomorrow will be the uh, tomorrow will be the day that I showcase Frozone. So if you're looking for Frozone and want to see what he's all about, you can come back to the channel tomorrow, and I'll be showcasing him too. Or you can make sure to subscribe, and then I'll just show up in your subscriptions. So let's check out uh, what Sally is all about here. First up, I love her weapons, like the sewing needle stuff. That is such a fun idea. All right, so yeah, she's got, she's a dual wielder. She's going back and forth with these. She's got some thread going on. It looks like uh, she's poisoned. I must have had my thing going. Um, her heavy attack, nice. I like that heavy attack a lot. And it feels so, like, impactful. Um, she feels very fun to play as. It reminds me a lot, for some reason, of, like, Hollow Knight or, like, uh... Or, like, Hornet. It reminds me of Hornet a lot from Hollow Knight, actually. Like, even, like, the thread above her. And, like, her weapons and everything are the needles. That's pretty cool. I have to wonder if there's any sort of inspiration from that. Because it's actually pretty similar. And yeah, she's even got like the spool of thread as like a hair bow or something. I don't know, it's pretty awesome. I, I think the idea of having like a literal doll have like these sewing fighting uh, materials is really cool. And like her dress is all sewed up and everything, which is pretty normal for a character, but it fits the theme really well here. In terms of her actual like model, it's mostly the same. The dress is a little different, um, especially like towards the top. But like her face and hair and everything is the same. But I don't think that's much of an issue. And I think they also capture the style of the Nightmare for Christmas with her specifically a lot. Like, uh, look at the eyes and like her icon on the top. Th that is just like the pinnacle of that of that art style, I feel like. Just looking into those eyes. Um, and like the sort of like imperfectness of like the hair texture and stuff. It really feels like the Nightmare for Christmas style, or even like a claymation model or something. And she's actually fighting Oogie right now, which is cool. But yeah, I, 
I, it would be cool. I feel like Oogie does not look so much like he's in that style as she does. And I, I really do think it would have looked cool to have them all look kind of in that same style, but um, he's not that far off from it, I suppose. But she just looks like she leans into it a lot more than he does. I, I am a huge fan of what they did with Sally here. I think she, they did a great job, and she's been a lot of fun to play as here as well. We'll do one more of these 1v1s here, and then maybe I'll try to go into a tower. I don't really know. Um, I might go into a tower and just set on autoplay so I can read the designer notes as well, which we will, of course, do for uh, Frozone as well tomorrow. If you've ever seen my showcases, that's what I typically like to do. Is just set it to auto and let the computer play for a bit so I can read the notes on the uh, on what the designer has to say about their intentions with the the creation of the character you know what is her backstory what who is she who is she good at fighting against stuff like that but yeah I think they did a really really great job with Frozone and Sally and I'll talk more about my thoughts on Frozone's uh, design specifically I was saying in the um, in like their initial reveal that I wasn't much of a fan of it, but then I saw the whole thing. I was like, okay, that that is awesome. <laughs> so yeah, tomorrow I'll talk much more in depth about what I like about his design specifically. But I have to say, Sally won me over. I think they did a great job with her. Um, she's definitely not seafaring. I don't really think she's a leader either. I could be wrong though. She could be, but it don't really matter. I guess we can just bring her in, um, and she'll be our melee. Although we should probably just bring in Mickey too. Okay, we need to bring in someone from the event, so yeah, we can do we can do him and then maybe bring in Mickey. All right, so let's look at the notes here. So, uh, tell us about this Guardian's transformation. Sally has undergone some interesting changes in the Mirrorverse, with stellar magic transforming the stuffing in her rag of her ragdoll body from autumn leaves to living deadly nightshade and animating the thread that holds her together. With amplified strength, reflexes, and a poison blade, Sally is a potent force that excels at debilitating her foes. How is she getting even better? Like, the description is so cool. <laughs> um, what were your design goals? For Sally, I wanted to explore a reflex testing mechanic that lets players express their excellence in gameplay. While parry itself is pretty strong, practicing and executing perfect parries will see Sally really shine. I also wanted to make sure to capture a bit of her history as a prisoner to give her a little bit of added oomph. Uh, I don't know, I'm not getting the prisoner thing, although that might be in like her bio or something. Or maybe just that like she's much more battle ready after being a prisoner or something. What abilities does the Guardian ha have? Uh, Sally's main mechanic is her ability to parry. Holding heavy attacks while Sarah Sally has a poise charge will allow her to parry an incoming basic or heavy attack from melee or tank enemies. If you want to get the most out of Sally, you'll have to try to parry an attack within the first half second of holding heavy to execute a perfect parry. All of Sally's talents and her signature ability have extra potent effects for executing perfect parries. I don't I don't use the heavy attack all that much, so I didn't really pull off any perfect parries, but maybe when I take control again, we can try to do some parries and see what happens. Um, describe the Guardian's play style. Sally is all about play, uh, paying attention to your opponents and le learning from their behavior. Sorry, I'll just take a second to get through to the next level. Okay. Try to take out, uh, try to single out tank or melee enemies and keep them locked down with parry while you melt them, uh, melt them with poisons. Sally's no slouch when it comes to taking out the squishier, squishier backline. While you can't parry their attacks, you can spend Sally's poise to get an extra potent poison out of her special ability. That honestly went through one ear and came out the other. There's a lot of... <laughs> but yeah, definitely poison is a big part of it. Um, what allies pair best with this guardian? Evil Queen is the obvious choice to amplify the potency of Sally's poison effects. Consider also allies with powerful stuns like Oogie Boogie or Genie, so Sally has the most opportunities to put poisons out on her foes. Picking Sally's first... Uh, advanced talent lets her synergize nicely with Jack Skellington as well. If you want to try an alternate support, uh, an alternate alternative support. So they're basically saying you could do a nightmare for a Christmas team, which I think I'd really like to do, and I might just end up doing once she actually releases. Um, because yeah, I, 
I would want to play it through like the hard mode of the story and you're not allowed to play it through new levels in the preview. So what enemies does this guardian counter? Sally is an extremely effective duelist when facing melee and tank enemies, shutting them down with well-timed parries. Use her poisons to get under your opponent's armor to get the better of characters like Beast or Mulan. So yeah, uh, she needs to be up close and personal, can actually prevent characters from attacking you. Uh, as long as they are melee or tank enemies. Who is best to defeat this fractured guardian? Facing Sally is a lot about positioning yourself so you don't get caught by her parry. Picking a ranged or support guardian is definitely safest, but a character like Aladdin, Aladdin excels at getting behind enemies and dishing out tons of damage. Stuns al stun also removes Sally's poise, so picking a solid stunner like Oogie Boogie against Sally will also keep your team safe. So that is cool that like Sally's actually um, or like Oogie is a good counter to Sally. So that is all the notes on Sally. Um, since I don't know a whole lot about what I'm doing, I think it's always nice to uh, read those notes and see what is actually good about these characters. Um, I'm gonna attempt to tr uh, pull off a parry if I can. Need to go off auto here too. Um, so, I think I honestly just did it. It's kind of hard to tell sometimes, but... I don't know if... I'm guessing you probably can't counter special attacks, or parry special attacks. I honestly just like her heavy attack because it attacks three times. It's really nice. Okay, well, we don't have any more melee characters, so... But yeah, um, I know people like the parry move a lot, I've been seeing, and I think that's a pretty cool idea that a lot of characters could probably have at some point. Um, you know, these more quick agile characters, it makes a ton of sense to give that to them. Um, I was going to look if that one event is still here, because I might... Okay, well I could do this one. It's not the one I was thinking of, but we could do this one. Um, Oh yeah, we could. Well, I want to save that for its own video. I want to. I want to do a. I want to do a team of them. So yeah, uh, I would like to do that in a future video. So stay tuned to see a Nightmare Before Christmas team. Let's keep going with Sally here. Yeah, uh, we're just obliterating these characters. I don't even have to do heavy attacks. It is fun to see her like poke the characters with a needle and they die instantly. Um, I would love to hear what you guys think about Sally in particular. I'm guessing most people are going to love what they did with her. I think people are generally just a fan of Sally already. Um, people just like, like that goth girl kind of vibe. Um, and they, they didn't really change that vibe a whole lot. Like I said, they kind of just made her more battle ready. Also, look at this. <laughs> We can just do this, it doesn't matter, we're not gonna die. Make your yellow for a while. Yeah, it, it is also very satisfying to play as her. Like, the double wielding thing is definitely fun to use. We killed everybody. Um. Let's see, how long have we been going? Because maybe we're, we've are we got it good. we got it pretty good. I'll just do one more. Um, again, I apologize if uh, Frozone is the first character to come out in the, in the update. I'm not even sure if that's the case at this time. It seems like it would be considering his event is first, but maybe they want to alternate who is fighting who in those events or something. I don't know. But... Um, if you are interested in seeing Frozone, you, well, I'll show them tomorrow, so if you're still kind of hesitant, and if you want to like pay money or something to unlock him, you know, waiting a day isn't crazy. If you can't wait, you can look up other people's showcases, a bunch of people are showcasing him today. So, um, but yeah, I'm excited for him too. 
I, I don't know anything about him other than that he is a ranged character. I'm assuming he will have some sort of freezing ability. Um, maybe similar to something that Elsa has. It might be similar to Elsa's moveset. But I really don't know, and I also don't remember what Elsa's moveset is, but maybe we'll bring in Elsa at the same time as we bring him in. Also, I'm pretty sure during the event that the characters will be Jack Skellington and, uh, and a Mr. Incredible. So I know Jack is a bit hard to get sometimes, so now it might be your chance to get him. Even from those crystals in the event store, you might get the chance to get him, which is pretty cool. Um, Mr. Incredible is in the main crystal pool, so not crazy, but it makes sense to bring him in. They kind of said, like, the character's besties are going to be in the, in the, uh, in the crystals this time around, so makes sense. But yeah, I, I love Sally. She's one of my favorite characters at the bat in a long time. So if you get the chance to unlock her, I definitely recommend it. She was a lot of fun to play as, and I'm sure that parry move will come in handy for sure. Um, but thank you guys for watching. I will see you tomorrow for Frozone's Showcase. Goodbye.